Welcome back to Sean's Colorado Beer Tour. Today we're still in Colorado Springs, but it's gloomy and miserable and everything I have is broken down. So, we're still in the Springs at Costilla, Nevada at the Iron Bird Brewery. So let's go check it out. So, I have wanted to check this brewery out forever. Immediately as you walk into the Iron Bird Brewery, you notice this plaque on the wall. And this plaque tells you about the meaning behind the name of the Iron Bird Brewery. Here this whole time I thought Iron Bird was just a cool name. It turns out, in fact, that Iron Bird was named after a B-17 that went down during World War II. And I suppose they've commemorated their brewery to this B-17 and its crew. I thought this was really cool, as I am a World War II aviation enthusiast, among other things. The interior here is much bigger than I would have expected it to be from the outside. They have an entire separate room. They also have this very nice outdoor patio with a built-in fireplace. All right, so I've got the red here. Let's go left or right. There's a red on this one. That one. All right, so. It smells good. Very hoppy for the red. Yeah, it's super hoppy. Yay, hoppy beer. Love hoppy beer. Kim does not like hoppy beer. No, you can tell. Who, who's next? Trinket. Uh, yeah, oh. super hoppy. What do you think? That's a lot. You like IPA? It's, it's actually like a red really, IPA. It's like a red IPA. It's actually really nice aftertaste, but like, I don't like it. I like the amount of hops because it's, it has a nice hoppy, really nice hoppy notes, but it's not overly hoppy. It's kind of yeah. mild compared to the IPAs I like as far as hoppiness goes. I like them as bitter as they can get. That's why I'm looking forward to the double, the, dead, the dead stick. Do you want See, some? All right, let's try out the standard IPA, is which oh, yeah. is... <laughs> What about God's That's very lightly flavored. Nothing. Can we try it? You're our IPA expert here. I would not consider myself an expert in any regard. <laughs> you like more of them than the rest of us. As that, that. <laughs> the foot, you are an expert. That's really light. And it is light. very light. I'm not an IPA fan, like, at all. No, 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 no. Tutton Barnes. Like, I could tell I think, from the smell before I even tasted it. It's one, one of those two. Uh, <laughs> which one? <laughs> all right, so. Let's try the double IPA then. Yeah. Is that the one with four that pounds of hops? Or? Yeah. That's the dead yeah. stick. So Steve's sea style is different than the smell. They're only looking They're all kind of hop. That is less hoppy than the red still. Is that the Even as the double. I, I know. I, that, yeah. This is the one still. that I took sippies from first. Yes, that's the red. <laughs> I really like that. Now that I've gotten, like, for some reason I haven't been drinking really IP really heavily hop IPAs, I'm just like, oh, that's what hops taste like again. Oh, Alzers. So, Standard South, the one I'm really excited for. It's, it smells very strongly of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I heard coffee. It says coffee, chocolate, and hazelnuts. Yeah, because I always <laughs> correct this. Caramel malts and a touch of earthy hops. <laughs> she knows that. That one's really she good. Really knows that That's a really good stout. This one sounds good. It's, so much more fun. it's not as coffee. It doesn't taste as coffee as it smells. You really get the coffee notes, but when you taste it, you really get the the chocolate comes out afterwards. Yeah, the chocolate aftertaste. Yeah. 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 No, the the coffee is just there when you smell it and then it's all about the uh, the chocolate notes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? It's really good. It's just like dark chocolate. Or like if you like chocolate yeah. covered cappuccino beans. Oh that's exactly what it tastes like actually. Yeah. yeah that's actually really good. And it's light for a mm -hmm. Hey, Sean, oh. try the sea stout mix, because that's something we tried. So we're trying the stout now, so we can like, compare with what you guys thought. Maybe it's um, a chocolate stout. Because the sea stout was a little too sour for me, my taste. That's very light. There's not a whole lot there. That stout is much better. Kind of yeah, like, this one. Kind it's of a, like uh, some of the stats that we had at uh, Whistlepick, where they were well, a, a lot lighter. Yeah, I think this is lighter than the Whistlepick stats. This is super light. There's not 
This is very Guinness like. <laughs> this actually has hints of chocolate in it. There's a little chocolate under the sea salt. That is extremely light. I, isn't it? I can't actually like, distinguish any of the flavors. I think that. I, I got a tiny bit of chocolate. That's about it. Well, I think that the other, their regular stout kind of is still overpowering in my mouth. Yeah, we might have to come back to that one when there's less going on. It's really light. Isn't it? I mean, that's that's a light stout. That, that one is a light stout. The C might actually be... Oh, you know what the C is? It's cask. They specialize in cask beers. They told me there were two on cask. So oh, that really? is the cask yeah. stout. This is the normal stout. The black lager stout. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name. So interesting that the cask on these doesn't bring out the flavors as much as like the Trinity ones. This one, it's a lot better on probably CO2. Cask yeah, is like a wood barrel, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. so I've had beers that were. Oh, that actually is a lot better than the second time too. Like after, after letting all the other flavors settle, I can, I can get a little more out of it. Like I said, the, the the flavors of this one were probably just overpowering, overpowering, and they were still in the mouth when you tried that. So. All right, we went left to right, and now we're going back the other way. So let's try the Cask Slumlord. Ooh. <laughs> nice evil name. Not much smell. That's it's very citrusy. There's like some orange or something in there. That's really good. It's kind of, it's not mixing well with the flavors of the others, but... They do serve food. something in between. Yes. That's kind of what I want right now. Is I, that's really good. I dig this. Which one is it? That this is, is a cask long lord. I want to come back to that one after trying something lighter because there's a lot more going on there that I can't taste because of the, the stouts. Yeah. That might be a favorite so far. No, actually, I really like that one. I like the red and I like that one. You like the red? Yeah. The red's a little... It, it's intense. I like the red the best of the the, the ones that are kind of IPA-like. This one's not bad. This one's so pretty light too. Well, that's the thing. That's what I, I was like... I like the fruity, light notes, but it's just really, really good. Yeah. I'm gonna try that one. Yeah. I'm yeah, it is super light, but it is pleasant. Yeah. I like it. Probably not. I know some satan bugs. All right. So the common. That's what I was looking at. This one's common. It's a lovely color. Very, very orange. You can stand on the dance. Ooh. Which one are you guys trying now? The common. I like that. I don't... I can't quite explain why I like that, but... <laughs> Oh, I did. I like that one too. Yum. Yeah. It's. I can't place what the flavors are. I think we've had just too much mixture of everything that it, without enough variation. Because we don't have food or water or anything like that. But yeah, that's yeah. really good. So the consensus is the common is really, really good. <laughs> now we gotta figure out what it is. <laughs> All right, so lastly, the pale. Small hops. It's a little bitter though. For it, is, it is quite bitter. There's a lot of hops in there. I get mostly hops. It, it almost tastes like a very light colored IPA. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Everything here is so heavy. On the Everything house. is yeah. very hoppy, yeah. except for the stout. The stout, stout does not have a lot of hops. And the common. And the common. Yes. That one's a Yeah. All right, I really want to try, oh, let's see. I think it was the yeah. common that was super light flavored. Did you want to try this one? It's still super light flavored, but it's still pleasant. I'm going to go for the Slumlord again, too, because that was also... This was, I think, a favorite right I feel like that had, like, hidden flavors in it. It does, but I... kind of buried in there. It's hoppier. The Slumlord. It does. Do you get hops in there? There are hops in there, too. Slumlord. But it's better cold. I've tried it 
like you want to try it warm? Which one's that one? The Slum Lord. Oh, it's definitely better cold. It's better cold. Yeah. And I do get the hops now. Now that it's warmed up. Yeah. Well, is it, yeah. You said it's better cold? Yeah. I did get either way. <laughs> All right. Now let's try the stout on assumably CO2. Presumably CO2. It's just better on the CO2. We'll try that one. It, it hides the coffee a little bit, and you get more of the other flavors. It doesn't look like you either. So. I really like the smell of this one. Like, it's, good. it's a good smell of beer. Like I could just curl up and just smell this for a while. So this one's good too. I like this one better than I that like one. Even though I like it because it's got a, a, a bolder taste to it. Whereas that one's kind of like a somewhere where it's got that hidden taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas this one, it brings out the hidden taste. Right. Yeah. These are they're more pronounced. Let's try the IPA again now that it's warmer. Super hoppy smell. The this is the regular. I figured I'd go like in increments of hoppiness. This one's really good now that's room temperature. No, definitely not. No? Ooh, I like the double. Warmer, there's no Try this one. Because that one I think is better at this temperature. There's a lot more fruity notes in that. Yeah. I like that. I really like that. Try the double. There's a lot more hop. I would Is say that that one's. <laughs> there's less bitter at the very end. But this one's fruitier. I like that one better. I like the, the standard IPA better. This one tastes more like an IPA, still, that it's warm. Yeah, I don't think I. And finally, the red, the super hoppy one, at least earlier. Ooh. The red's really good. It's, it's much less hoppy, you get a lot more. The, the, the undertones. The yeah, you get a lot. That is freaking brilliant. Isn't it? That's The red is much better now that it's warmed up a little bit. Cold, it was too hoppy. But now that it's, it's a little bit warmer, you don't taste the hops, you taste everything else going on. Actually, is a lot better. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I swear, there are beers that are better warmer and there's beers that are better colder. There are. Oh yeah, it's a lot less terrible now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it better warm. It's nice. I might actually order this one. What? So salt. Brilliant. Common, yeah, for sure. Can you see us some plates in that? I would. Um, Pilsner. Pilsner? Um, for sure. I'll get a red, please. Red Pilsner Common? Uh, cool. I'm not going to order it, but I'd like to it. Yeah, it's good, for sure. It's not we have weird shoulder. conversations. Apparently. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to everyone at the Ironbird Brewing Company for allowing us to come try all of your beers and continue our adventure at your very cool brewery. Though we didn't get to try a lot of your food, the pizza fries were brilliant, and I'm sure I personally will be back to try more of your menu. All of you viewers should definitely come and check this place out if you get the opportunity.